So here we have the Ford Galaxy 2 litre TDCI Titanium X automatic on a 17 plate. I'm going to show you around the outside of the car first of all, and then we'll hop in and run through a few controls on the inside. As you'll see from the outside, it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then we'll work our way around the rest of the car from there. So you will see at the same at the moment all seven seats are currently in place. So this is the amount of boot space you'd have at the back of the car with seven seats in place. Let me show what it's like with the rear two folded down. And there we are, that's with the rear two folded down. So as you can see, you get masses of boot space. The three rear seats, or what would be the middle seats normally, uh, will also fold down to give you even more space should you need it. Okay, so let's just wander back round to the front of the car now, and then we'll jump in and run through a few controls. But now that we've done a full circle of the car, you can see that it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. It looks really good in this blue as well. Just briefly before I climb in the car, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, you've got full leather seats, uh, which are in fantastic condition, as are the carpet areas. There's loads to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, we've got the speedometer. Uh, in the middle there, you'll see we've got a couple of trip computers, one dead center and the other one next to that. You can change the information displayed on both of those using the buttons on the steering wheel. So I can, for example, access the phone menu, the satellite navigation menu. I can check what radio station we're listening to and have that information displayed up on there. And then I can go over to the left-hand side and change various different bits of fuel economy information as well. You'll see at the bottom of the central section, it shows you the total miles in this car, which are 10,050. And then beneath that, it will show you what gear you're in uh, which is, as we are currently stationary, P4 Park in this car. We back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we've got the arrows for the left-hand side trip computer, as well as cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, the buttons for the right-hand side trip computer, as well as stereo controls and voice activation for the phone. So you hit that voice activation button, ask it to dial any one of your contacts list, and it will do that for you once you've paired up your phone, of course. And that is done with this touch screen in the center here. So we're on the main menu at the moment. You can see you can connect to phone there. You've got the music settings here and then satellite navigation in the top left. So if we first of all hit this uh, section and then sources, you can see the different ways you can listen to music on this car. So we've got AM, FM and DAB digital radio, as well as a CD player and Bluetooth audio. This car also has USB input as well. So if you can connect connect a device via USB, that will also appear here as a square. Uh, we can either go back one page by pressing that, or we can go directly into a second menu. So if we hit navigation, for example, it'll open up the full size satellite navigation menu. Really easy to input a destination and a very, very clear, easily readable screen as well. Uh, working our way down from there, uh, we've got the CD player and then the volume controls just here, and then dual zone climate control beneath that. So we can adjust the temperature for the left-hand side of the car, the right-hand side of the car, fan speed in the middle, and then either hit aircon or auto and the car will maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. Uh, we've also then got a driver and passenger heated seat as well. Beneath that, we've got the 12 volt charging socket and two USB inputs, as I mentioned already. And then if we move out a little bit, the fully automatic gearbox. To the right hand side of the automatic gearbox, uh, we've got a few bits that are worth seeing. First one is this. So this is the stop and start. The car's designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. You can turn that system off should you wish to just there. Uh, we could then turn on or off the front parking sensors and this car's got uh, an automatic parking aid so hit that button and the car will actually park itself uh, and if you want to see more on that you can go on to uh, MJA's Facebook page so MJA car sales on Facebook and there's a video on how that works uh, the other thing this has got where it comes to parking which is fantastic is if we put it on the center screen there pop the car in reverse we've got a full color reversing camera as well so the last thing I want to talk about on the inside of the car is the panoramic roof that you can see above you there. Uh, it's got a blind uh, that we can open first of all. Uh, so simply if you just want to let in light, the blind's got two stages, the second of which will open it fully right back to almost the very, very rear seats on this car. Uh, once you've done that, you can then, should you wish to, open the front section as a sunroof to let in air as well as light. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.